Hello legends, it's Guan here. Good to see all of you here today. Thanks for tuning in for today's video. Now Robinhood recently just got listed in the New York Stock Exchange with a current market cap of about $30 billion. Now should you be robbing this stonk or just meh? In this video, I'll look into its business, market size, risk, financials and valuations. Be sure to stay tuned until the end for valuations and my final thoughts. So, what does the company do? Robinhood basically offers zero commission brokerage service to the retail investors. Apart from the usual stock trading, they also offer options trading, margin trading, crypto trading, and more. They were basically the one who popularized the zero fee commission as well as the fractional share trading. Now, bringing zero commission fee feature to the market is one thing, but how the heck do they make money? So, Robinhood basically makes a buck on their money via the payment for order flow. Say for instance, you want to buy stock A at $1 per share. Robinhood then pushes your trade orders to the market makers. Now these market makers would then pay Robinhood a certain amount of money for pushing the trade orders to them. Just like those in-store promoters who earn commissions by trying to sell you more items. Now at the same time, Robinhood also pissed off large groups of investors and traders in the recent GameStop AMC stock trading saga due to the fact that they block users from trading on their app for several days. Talking about protecting investors' trust, I think that trusting your ex-girlfriends or boyfriends is a much better deal. Just saying, market size and opportunities. Let's just take the US market as an example. According to the 2019 Pew Research Survey in Robinhood's S1 filings, approximately 60% of Americans do not have investments outside of their retirement account. In other words, this is potentially a big market for brokerages, assuming they have some disposable income to throw into the stonks. Now, brokerage industry is technically an evergreen industry, wherein any normal adult who wants to compound wealth would definitely have to go with a broker for investing purposes. But, 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 hold on. An evergreen industry like this would surely attract a lot of competitors, right? Let's check out the next section. Risks and the competitors. Looking at the list of brokerage services available in the US, you can tell it's basically a red hot battleground here, just like the Avengers versus Thanos. Now, as a result of Robinhood's innovation, big name brokerage firms such as Charles Schwab, TD Ameritrade, IBKR and more started to embrace the zero commission and lower down the commission fees. A big kudos to Robinhood for bringing this to the market. Now, there's practically hardly any mode here since that there are now more and more copycats in the brokerage industry nowadays. On another note, SEC also announced that they will be investigating Robinhood's business model. If SEC drops the hammer, it will be a huge blow to Robinhood's business. Now, ask yourself, if you would feel comfortable investing in a company that can rake up 50 lawsuits at a time. Robinhood currently rakes up up to 50 lawsuits as of now, in case if you miss out the news. Financials Robinhood user base increased from 40,000 to the current size of 12.5 million people in just 8 years. That's a Kega growth of over 100%. Wow, impressive. Most impressive. The company's revenue more than tripled to around $960 million last year, up sharply from $278 million in 2019. And that momentum propelled Robinhood to swing to a profit in 2020 when it recorded a net income of $7.4 million, compared to a net loss of $107 million in 2019. Robinhood is reportedly cash flow positive in 2019 and 2020. But its latest Q1 2021 operating cash flow is reportedly negative $1.82 billion due to a huge net loss of $1.4 billion. But moving forward, it's basically unrealistic to assume such growth momentum to continue like wildfire as more and more brokerages are cloning their strategies. Valuation and my final thoughts. Robinhood currently has a current market cap of about $40 billion. With a trailing 12 month revenue of $1.35 billion, this gives Robinhood a price to sales multiple of about 30 times. Taking IBKR as an example, 
IBKL has currently a market cap of about $25 billion with a trailing trough fund revenue of $2.3 billion. This gives a price to sales multiple of about 11 times. Let's not forget that IBKL also makes about $200 million in profit on average basis. This is an insane valuation. Insane valuation. Although the growth story of Robin Hood is commendable, the downside risks are far too much for me. Steve Jobs will also say that this is more insane than him. So, are you buying this valuation or not? Let me know in the comments. Be sure to like, sub, and click the bell for more videos on every Friday. I'll see you in the next one.